going to wait just another minute or two before we get started, um, just so that we have the opportunity for as many people to join as possible. But um, I want to say thank you again for everyone in that everyone that has joined so far. This is great. Again, my name is Katie Whiteman. I'm the Field Institute Director for the Sequoia Parks Conservancy. We are the official nonprofit partner to Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. And basically um, what we do, our mission is to really to protect and provide access to Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks and the cultural and natural resources that are abundant here. And one of my favorite things about Avi is that he is very local to Sequoia and Kings Canyon. Um, something that Avi and I both have in common is that we grew up right outside the park. And so these parks are really in our backyard. We probably both grew up kind of gallivanting in the Sierra Nevada. And so it makes it really special to be able to to share um, this space with so many people from all over the world. And I love that um, we're getting people from Australia, New Zealand, Arkansas, Illinois, so many people. And I think, and Kentucky, it looks like we just saw. And I think that's one of my favorite things about the national parks is that whenever I walk through the parks, I meet people from literally all over, all over the world. And um, so to bring people from, you know, just on a virtual platform together from across the globe is, is really special. So Avi, thank you again for joining us tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited to do this. Um, you know, you already said I grew up with the Sequoias and um, they mean a great deal to me and the park means a great deal to me. I want to do everything I can to, you know, help save these amazing trees um, that are definitely endangered right now. So um, absolutely. super, super happy to to be here and to play some songs and to educate people on what's going on there. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, last year the fire started, um, the KMP complex fire started on September 9th and it was um, started by lightning. We had, a, we had, gosh, over 200 lightning strikes occurred in, in, in just a single storm in a single night. And it did ignite a couple wildfires in the park. Um, Eventually, the, the fires, there was two big fires that merged into one that we called the KMP Complex Fire. And through the months that the KMP Complex Fire was burning, um, there's an estimated about 16 groves um, that the fire burned through. And these are sequoia groves. And it es has estimated to kill between 1,300 and 2,400 giant sequoias over four feet in diameter. And so when we say monarch sequoias, we're talking about trees that are you know, greater than four feet in diameter. So these are, these are the monarchs. These are the big ones. These are the ones that are hundreds, thousands of years old. And um, over just the last two years through the KMP complex fire and the castle fire, we have lost between 15 and 20% of the world's monarch sequoias. And that number is, is pretty staggering. But in that, in that there's, that number can be really scary. There is a lot of hope and we are doing our best right now as an organization to raise money for for the giant sequoias and we're doing that to the KMP complex Re recovery fund and our goal is to raise a million dollars and that million dollars is going to go towards a lot of different projects to um, help restore fire impacted ecosystems and try to understand what what exactly is happening to the monarch sequoias um, through climate change and all these things and so um Adi, Adi, i was curious i um have you been up to the park since the KMP complex fire burned through. Did you have you seen any of the damage? Absolutely. Yeah, I've been okay. up. Um, I think twice since then, and um, it's very, very sad. Um, some of my favorite places that I used to go are totally decimated. Um, some of my favorite trees that I love to visit are totally decimated or not just not there anymore. Um, yeah. It's heartbreaking, you know. You grow up with these trails. You grow up. Um, with these trees and to see them disappear, um, to see the devastation. Like I remember I went as soon as I could go after the fire and I remember hiking my favorite trail and there was like a foot of ash and there were still even trees that were on fire that were still smoking. And mm -hmm. um, it was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking to see um, all of the destruction that happened. And um, to know that it's going to take years for the growth to happen again, but it'll take thousands of years for those trees to come back. And Absolutely. I think the thing about it is like these trees 
that we love and that really makes Koi National Park what it is are disappearing. And these aren't trees that just grow back overnight or they go grow back in 10, 20 years, even 100 years, you know? Um, so to see them disappear and the entire world's population of these monarchs, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like they're all here in Sequoia National Park and like in, yeah, I can hear you. Awesome, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. That's okay. Um, so we'll wait for just a couple more minutes for people to come in. And so while, can you, so we've talked a little bit about the fire and how, how devastating it is to, you know, to, to, to go up into these parks and see the damage that was done. Um, but kind of on a, on a more positive note, can you tell us about growing up in the Central Valley and why these parks mean so much to you, um, to you personally? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, like you said, like, it was my backyard, you know, and so I spent a lot of my time um, going up there and exploring. Um, and just really being able to be introduced to nature in that way in such a magnificent way. Um, it, it really made it feel like like life was magic, you know what I mean? Like it was like, right. it was such a life changing thing to be able to see the sequoias and know that they were just right there and be able to have this experience of like, you know, going and like walking the river or, you know, doing cliff diving mm -hmm. or, you know, hiking the trails and, you know, hanging out with the sequoias, like all of it was, um, it made up my childhood, you know, right. it was, it was, it was amazing to know that they were just right there. Um, and really such a blessing. I mean, people come from all over the world right. to see these trees and mm -hmm. they're in my backyard, you know? Right. Yeah. I think that was one of my favorite things that I just saw in one of the comments that someone grew up outside of Exeter. So totally know where, where that is. And, um, yeah, that the, that the, these kind of wonders of the world are just right there and they inspire, I think so much when you're, when you're in I love it. Um, and uh, I would say that Other Side is also another song that is inspired by that area. Uh, you know, and I, I mean, I think that whenever I sit down to write a song, like I have so much imagery. We'll try this again one more time. If not, Tamara will uh, take over our account and she's, she's in a different part of California. So not mine i actually went somewhere else so that i had good internet so i totally feel your pain <laughs> i totally feel your pain but this time i do not think it will drop i think we're good i think we're good i'm yeah. down in southern california so um it shouldn't be too much of an issue now and um now katie can just kick back and relax i feel your pain katie i totally understand <laughs> um anyway what Tell, the, tell me what you were saying. Um, well, we were just talking about inspiration and how that comes from Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon and all of that. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's the most inspiring place that I've ever been. And I feel like when I am writing songs, a lot of the imagery, Im imagery that flows out of me is from Sequoia. But specifically the songs I think that are the most from that area is Born in California mm -hmm. and other songs. Yeah, and um, I, I assume that's why you were interested in being an ambassador with us. Absolutely. I mean, really, really most importantly, why I was interested in doing it is because I want to do anything possible to help save these trees and also to spread the word for the park. I mean, I feel like people do not spend enough time in nature, and I think that encouraging that and showing people a place that's really really amazing um is extremely important and it's really important to me so it's always yeah it's it's really really important for me to be a part of it so it was a no-brainer for me it's a huge honor for me and um i'm just really happy to be a part of it yeah i mean obviously one of the beautiful things about living in the united states is the national park system 
And um, all the national parks are so different and they all have their own treasures in their own way. Um, and, and really the, the best way to find out what, you know, is meaningful to you is to just get in your car and go visit a national park and explore um, and see what resonates with you. And we're so glad that Sequoia obviously resonates with you and Kings Canyon and having grown up so close. And um, before, before we get into you um, playing music, I, I know that you were just on tour and you're going back on, uh, out on the road again. Um, can you tell us about where you're headed and how people can get tickets? And I know you're coming down to Southern California and I definitely plan on seeing you live. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm going back out uh, in just about a month um, and then out again in December. Um, and so you can get tickets on my website and uh, I would love to see you all out there. I'm super, super excited to be going back out on tour. Um, it's been kind of surreal to get back out there. So um, I would love to see anybody that wants to come out. I would be so happy. That's awesome. Well, we hope you have a really good rest of your tour. Um, I will see you at the Ventura show for sure. Um, and um, before um, Avi plays some of the, his, his songs, especially the ones that were inspired by Sequoia and Kings Canyon, I did want to let you all know that you can make a donation to support um, the KMP Complex Recovery Fund, which is to support um, the efforts, the, the restoration efforts going into um, the conservation and restoration from the from the fires from almost a year ago. Um, you you see the damage right when you when you go into the park. So um, we have a million dollar goal. Any donation is very much appreciated, um, and that button is right on our Instagram page, which is at Sequoia Parks Conservancy. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. Of course, yeah. I mean. All of this is uh, extremely important. You know, these trees, they can't just grow back in 10 years, you know. So I think it's really important for us as humans to protect them. Um, and so I'm here to do whatever I can. Whatever you all can do, do it. Even if it's just visiting the park, you know, um, support it. That's all I can say. We yeah. would really, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's all it's all very precious, and um, the resources are not unlimited. They are they are limited, unfortunately. Especially, like Katie was saying, the monarch sequoias, which are the biggest and the oldest sequoias. It's you can't replace a three thousand year old tree that's burned like a toothpick. So we need to do everything that we can to um, protect those uh, monarch sequoias, and then also. Um, do what we can to um, help help the little babies that are coming coming along and sprouting up. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. I see Katie has put in our Instagram and in, in, in the feed. Thank you, Katie. And um, I'm sure all of you are here to hear um, Avi sing. So um, ladies and gentlemen, Avi Kaplan. Here I am. Um, so what, before you leave, um... Is there like a quick link that people can click on um, to donate? Just so I just want to make sure it's easy for everybody. Yeah. So um, the easiest thing to do is to either go to our website or um, Katie can type in the link to our website or just go to our um, Instagram page. I, I think because it's a split screen, it wouldn't, it wouldn't let us do the live fundraising. Um, so she can, there she did, she put it right in there. So yeah, people can just go to our Instagram page. It's right up there. It's called the campaign right now is called the big give. Um, and that's because it was a big fire with big trees, but you all have much bigger hearts. So thank you so much to um, everyone for joining. And um, yeah, let's hear some tunes. Absolutely. Thank you all so much. I'll play some tunes. Hopefully that will inspire you to give. And um Either way, I hope you enjoy it. And I really, really appreciate you all being here um, in support. It really, really means a lot. All right. So we were talking about some songs that were inspired by Sequoia National Park. And um, this is Born in California. I 
I was born in California, raised by the tree. From the mountain, hearts following the breeze. One more night, I'll be sleeping here out in West Virginia. Don't seem right for me to be so far from home. Would be nice to march on my feet down old square. Yeah, those pines and those hills can mend my soul. Cause I know. Just wait. In California. Baby. So by the tree. From the mountain, all is following the breeze. One more day, one more town, one more driving I'll be on my way back to the fields where I belong. Cross those states, cross my heart, no death end is coming. Cause I've been gone for far too long where I was born in California Raised up by the trees Came out from the mountain All following the breeze Yeah, I was born in California Raised up by the trees, came out from the mountain, hearts following the breeze, following that breeze, following that breeze, following that breeze, following that. Thank you so much. Here's another song that was definitely inspired by Sequoia. Yeah, the song is, um, it's about going up into the mountains or nature or, you know, wherever it is that you go. I feel like when you get to a place that there aren't any more people around, there's no more civilization, I feel like it's a totally different world. I call that place the other side. That's what the song is called. Him road I be round up my skin pulls me deeper drags me back again tangle me up in your lines take my spirit take my mind take me over to the other side Ooh. 
Thank you so much. So for those of you who are just joining, we are doing a live stream fundraiser for Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park. So if you want to donate, um, there's going to be a link that continues to be posted on this um, and also on Sequoia uh, Parks Conservancies uh, on their Instagram there will be a link. So check that out. If you want to help these beautiful giant trees, I would be so, so happy. Um, this next song is a song off the new album. And it is a uh, song that I do live, uh, but I don't do this version of it very often. So I hope you dig it. You hit me like a thunder roll, caught me like a wildfire in your eyes. You locked me in a lucid dream, time's taking over me, that's just fine. 
And darling, I can't lie. I want to take my time. I want to love you right. I want to hold you tight. Darling, I can't lie. Darling, I can't lie. I wonder for a thousand years, kiss upon your lips, my dear, just one time. I could die but to your tender lips, fill up all your emptiness, treat you right. And darling, I can't lie. I want to take my time. I want to love you right. I want to hold you tight. Darling, I can't lie. And darling, I can't lie. And darling, I can't lie. And darling, I can't lie. I want to take my time. I want to love you right. I want to hold you tight. Darling, I can't lie. And darling, I can't lie. I want to take my time. I want to love you right. I want to hold you tight. Darling, I can't lie. Darling, I can't lie. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I know those giant trees appreciate it. Um, for those of you that are just joining, we're doing a live stream for Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park. So uh, donate if you can. And if not, enjoy the show and visit when you can. It's extremely, extremely amazing. Could not recommend more. Um, this next song is off of the new album and it's called All Is Well. I dove into the dark And I swear I almost drowned But I could see the stars Looking up as I was sinking down All is well All is well Heaven, hell, wherever I go, all is well, my soul, all is well. Now I've landed in the light, that my eyes can finally see. The darkness in my mind was the path to set my spirit free. All is well. All is well. Heaven, hell, wherever I go, all is 
when this old all is well. It's the smoke, it's the flame, it's the ash, and it's the rain. It's the burn, wash away, it's the change, and it's the same. All is well, all is well, heaven, hell, wherever I go. Time will tell, I will know all is well. In my soul, all is well. Heaven, hell, wherever I go, all is well. In my soul, all is well. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Um, this next song. Oh, actually, I, I was just thinking when I was playing that song, uh, the bridge of that song, it talks about uh, like the burn and wash away. And that was actually inspired by Sequoia National Park as well. Um, you know, what happens with, with, the, with, with like a forest is it burns and then it washes away and then it creates new life. And, um, you know, there is even beauty in destruction. Now, I don't think Sequoia National Park needs any more destruction, but um, I wanted to mention that, that that was also something that was fired there. So, yeah. So this song is called Change on the Rise. It's going to be the last song that I'm playing tonight. I just wanted to thank you all so much for coming out to this, I guess staying in for this. Um, it just means the world. The fact that we have people from all over the world showing up for this, almost 300 people, um, is pretty amazing. So I really, really appreciate you all coming out. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the show and I really, really hope you will visit Sequoia National Park as soon as possible or Kings Canyon, either way. It's so beautiful. So this is for the big trees. Hopefully there is a big change on the rise for them and that we won't have to worry about them so much anymore. But until then, got some work to do. So this is change on the rise. Without the light, the darkness comes. Hold through the night, 
the shadows will run. Fend off the enemy, sing out the jubilee with all the fire we can breathe. We're singing all day, and you can't tame it. High tide, low tide, you know, night time, morning time. Yeah. We're going strong, headed up down the river, oh Lord, I feel the I feel a change on the rise. Uh -huh. What good's a man? lost his soul can't take a stand when his flames don't go uh -huh. fend off the enemy sing out the jubilee with all the fire we can breathe we're singing all day, and you can't tame it. High tide, low tide, you know, night time, morning time. Yeah. We're going strong, headed up down the river. Oh, Lord, I feel the river lane. I feel a change on the rise. Uh -huh. I feel a change on the, I feel a change on the rise. I feel a change on the, I feel a change on the rise. I, we're singing all day and you can't tame it high tide low tide you know mm. headed up down the river oh lord i feel the river lane i feel a change on the rise we're singing all day and you can't tame it High tide, low tide, you know, night time, morning time, yeah. We're going strong, headed up, down the river, oh, Lord, I feel the river lane. I feel a change on the rise. I feel a change on the rise. Mm. Thank you all so much. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks to everybody who um, stuck with us through our technical difficulties. We we have not done very many live streams um, <laughs> in our history, but I think now we know what we need to do to work the kinks out. Um, so thank you to everybody. If you feel inspired, you can become an SBC member. Um, you can come to our Dark Sky Festival, which is September 24th, where you can experience the dark sky in all its glory. We're going to have star parties. Um, all that information is on our website, and we're very excited about that. And we have some more surprises in store um, in, in the coming um, months, years. We'll fill you in, but you're going to want to stick around for it. So... Um, thank you, everybody, so much. Avi, you are a gem. We're so grateful to have you as our ambassador. You are, 
you represent everything that, that we believe in and stand for. So thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate um, you having me on. And I really, really appreciate um, everyone coming out tonight. So thank you so, so much. And uh, keep a lookout. We're going to be doing some cool things together. So keep a lookout. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Thank we'll you so much, everyone. Go see Abby on tour. We'll catch you soon. Yeah, I'll see y'all there. Bye. Have a good Thank you.